we have two types of significations. Two types of significations or indications. What is the meaning of indication? Do you, do you remember? Dalala. Dalala, exactly. Dalala. Dalala. Dalala means either signification or indication. We have two types. One, one type is the basic one. Is the basic one. Dalala al tasawuriya. Dalala al tasawuriya. Meaning, let me put the translation here. The linguistic the linguistic linguistic meaning or signification or signification if you want and then I have a dalala al tasdiqiya and that is the what Confirmational. Confirmational signification. Tasdiqiya. What's the difference between them? The difference is when I say something today. I say a sentence. I say, the weather is cold tonight. The weather is cold. I'm trying to convey into your mind that outside is cold. It's cold. That's it. Just to bring to your attention, when I say, الجو باردون, the weather is cold, I just want you to conceptualize how it feels when you are in the cold. You have to warm yourself, you have to protect yourself, you have to put extra layers. This is, this is الدلالة التصورية. When I say something, you conceptualize the word, and through the word, your mind is going to go to what? Huh? What is behind the word? The meaning. The meaning. So every word bears a specific what? Meaning, this is a tasawwur, tasawwur in your mind, you imagine. The basic meaning of it is to imagine. When I say, let's say, swimming pool, now your mind, you may immediately want to this, now you are imagining the swimming pool, okay? If, you, I, if I say a vehicle, you, if I say an airplane, then your mind goes to this. This is the basic the basic imaginations. But then there is some upgrade bigger than tasawwur, bigger than imagination. I'm giving a speech here on the podium about akhirah, the day of judgment. And I say, al akhiratu waqi'atun, it will happen. But not just I want you to imagine. I want you to believe, not just to believe, to follow up on that and to act upon that, to embrace the idea. I want you to change your life, not just to, to imagine, oh, there is an akhirah, you know, so we're going to stand somewhere, a big place, and God is sitting there and watching. No, it's not just that. Out of this sentence, I need something more, something more than imagination. I need tasdiq. I need you to act upon that. I want to move your, your brains, your heart, your conscience, so you can work on that and you can change your life and transfer yourself, transform yourself. This is confirmational signification. This is different than linguistic signification, not just language. I don't care about the language. I care about the substance, the result. I need to see result. I need to see result, okay? This is the difference between الدلالة التصورية 
which comes from only the language. But this one comes from where? Exactly, Ahsant, the heart, not just the language. This one stem from just the language. I don't put extra effort into it. I'm just sitting here, I say, ooh, it's freezing outside, it's cold. That's it. I don't care whether you want to get dressed or not or, you know. But in the second it comes from my state, you look at me, I am serious here. I am serious. And therefore, they say, it is the serious intention, al irad al jiddiyah You're going to read it in the book. When you have serious intention, it develops into what? Confirmational signification. While if you only have the intention of the usage, just the usage, then it is the first one. The usage. al irad al istimali I want... I want you to go to the meaning of it. Here, not just the meaning. I want, I have serious intention. I want you to change yourself. So, therefore, we have two, two sources for significations. Two sources. One of them is what? One of them is what? Look at this. One of them is what? Comes from where? Language. Exactly. Language. Language. When I say something... I say something, it has a meaning. It has a significance. I say water, your mind goes here. I say iPhone, your mind goes here. Marker, your mind goes here. So the language. But what is the second one? Dr. Ali just said it. My heart, my state, the way I am saying it. I'm not just saying it that you're your mind goes just to, the, to this bottle. No, 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 no. I have something much bigger than that. I want you to do something about it. Al-Dalala at Okay? Again, read this, inshallah. It's going to uh, elaborate in the book when you read it. It makes your job very easy. And now let's go to the last part, which is Al-Jumla. Al-Khabariya and Al-Jumla Al-Insha'iya. We have two types of sentences. One of them is Khabari. Khabari means declarative. Al-Jumla Al-Khabariya. And then we have another one. It is Al Insha'iyah, exclamatory. Al Jumla Al Insha'iyah. Okay? So we have one declarative and second is ex exclamatory. What is the difference between them? The difference between them is that in this, I say something, a sentence, jumla, sentence. This sentence could be true or it could be false, either true or false, such as what? Such as weather is cold. This is a sentence. Weather is cold. At-taqsubarit. Okay? Or lesson is good. Probably not tonight. Other <laughs> nights. This could be right and it could be wrong. Could be true statement and it could be wrong. I'm telling you something. I am, this is, it has this nature. Declarative nature. This is khabar. Someone is coming from outside. He's bringing us khabar. He puts that in a sentence. Khabari. Okay? But n sometimes it's not khabar. It is exclamatory. Insha. Such as what? Give me an example of not being khabar. Stop. Exactly. Stop your vehicle. 
This is not khabar. This is you are commanding me. Read your lesson. Write this sentence. Write this number. Okay? Go, go back home. Or sometimes, sometimes istifham, you are asking, did you eat? Did you eat your food? This is, this is not khabar. This is not khabar. I'm asking you. So you have to answer me. You have either yes or no. You have to answer me. Sometimes nida. Oh, Umid. Please, Umid, shut the camera. For instance, turn it off. This is nida. This is also, this is not khabar. This is exclamatory. It, it, it goes into many branches. Sometimes tamanni, wishing, wishing something. It's not khabar. I'm not giving you a news. Okay? I'm wishing. I wish, I wish the rain continues. This is also falls in this category, not in the first one. I wish the rain continue or continues. Okay, so this is the insha. And we're going also to find them a lot, this type of khabar or insha in the Quran, in the hadith. Sometimes the hadith is not always declarative. It is sometimes exclamatory. We're going to take example of that in the Quran and the Hadith, and we're going to use it, inshallah, in every when we go to the uh, we go into the details. We're going to use it, but promise me, inshallah, here the difference between them also. One of the differences. This is something happened, something happened, I'm just giving you the news. While this one, sometimes it could be, I am waiting for it to happen. Like when I said, stop the vehicle. It's not in the past. I'm waiting it, or I'm selling you this book. I'm waiting it for to happen. That one happened, I can't do anything about it. It's in the past. But this one, in the present, or the future. I'm waiting to see some results. That one, the results are gone. Already the results are out. This one, no. We are waiting to see the result of it. This is the difference between Al Jumla Al Khabariya and Al Jumla Al Insha'iya. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ahli bayta al Tayyibin al Tahirin.